That was probably the fastest two hours and 30 minutes I've ever experienced in the movie theater. And I cannot wait until 2019. Welcome back guys, I finally watched The Avengers Infinity War starring Thanos because it was all about Thanos in this one. But I'm gonna give you my quick review on this movie because everybody has talked about it. And at the same time, I wanna give you my top five moments from the movie. So before I even get there, make sure to leave your favorite moments from the movie. This is gonna be a spoiler filled video after my quick review. My quick review is gonna be just quick thought. And obviously I'm gonna keep it spoiler free for anybody that it hasn't watched so so my quick thoughts on the avengers infinity war is basically that the movie is very fun it's very entertaining and honestly it probably is my favorite Marvel movie up to this point. We've been waiting for it for 10 years ever since Iron Man came up and the fact that the Rooster Brothers were able to throw in so many superheroes into one film and actually make it work was impressive to me. I went in there with some expectations and the movie itself blew it away. Thanos himself was freaking awesome in the movie. Iron Man and Doctor Strange, the pair up, the team up. I love those two characters in this one and Thor. Thor also became one of my favorite Avengers. If you've been watching the Marvel movies since Iron Man came up then there's no reason for you to miss out on this one this one's probably gonna like meet your expectations the only bad thing about this film for me personally was that there are some characters in here you know that have their own solo films but in this one they, they're kind of more like background characters they don't have like big roles Thanos himself in the movie was a badass and I think that he's the best Marvel villain that there is so far like I think he was amazing he had a purpose his background story and like the reason of why he's doing all this makes total sense to me he is super strong super powerful and you know there's a lot of scenes where he gets to show that strength that he has the movie even though it's two hours and a half it doesn't really feel like two hours and a half i actually felt like i wanted to see more like the way that the movie ends it just left me asking questions and making me want for the second part to be out already like i am so anxious to see the second part because i have so many questions that want answered and i have so many theories that just are rattling in my head that i'm like just hurry up and bring 2019 to me please but yeah guys that's all i really want to say about about the movie as a quick review oh and if you guys want to know my rating for the film you know i i don't want to give it a perfect score either but i did love the movie so i'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 but anyways that's it moving on so now moving on to my spoiler filled uh, portion of my video and that's gonna be my top five moments so spoilers starting off at number five is gonna be the entire first act of the movie and the reason i say that is because it this takes place right after thor ragnarok where they're in space they kind of skip the whole part where thanos had him in, has invaded their spaceship and you know they're just all defeated they're on the ground you don't really know what happens then you get the introduction of thanos and you really get to see his true power because he literally beats the shit out of hulk thanos literally makes Hulk look like his little bitch and at the same time in that opening act we finally get a major death and that's the death of Loki which I was surprised that they did that right away number four for me is gonna be Thanos sacrificing Gamora for the soul stone like the entire like build up to that moment and you know him taking her under his wing and him showing emotion that he actually has love for this person that he took under his wing even though he like basically wiped out her entire race when he gets up there and we say we see Red Skull I was just like what the hell like i didn't understand that i still need to read up on that but i love the entire fact that you know he had empathy like he actually showed emotion and for a villain to show that much character in a marvel movie tells me a lot and it shows me how well-rounded this villain was you know i was kind of nervous to see thanos because we kept seeing him in snippets and post credits and stuff like that but i never expected to know this much about this character and you know to even like kind of root for him at some point so the whole build-up to the sacrifice was very well done and that's why it's my number four and i really I mean, they didn't enjoy it, but it was kind of fucked up. But I definitely thought it was one of like the moments where I was like, damn. He just sacrificed someone he loved for his agenda. Moving on to my number three is going to be basically the battle of Wakanda. If that's a, what they're going to call it or I'm going to call it. I don't know. But I'm talking about the moment where they both like kind of like stand their ground. And they're kind of talking in the middle of like the force field. And they're like, you know, are you guys going to give up or, or what? Like, you know, but no. You see the Wakandan people. You see Captain America, Black Widow, the Scarlet Witch. You know, you see them all together go head on with these like alien looking things and you know Thanos like group of villains that entire battle scene right there was epic it had me at the edge of my seat you just saw people getting blown to bits left and right seeing creatures like sacrificing themselves just trying to get through the force field the action in that sequence was awesome and seeing Dr. Banner in the huge Iron Man suit was kind of hilarious moving on to my number two is going to be that entire sequence where Thanos or Thor I guess they kind of win in a way and I'm talking in the moment where Thor basically 
throws his new hammer <laughs> at Thanos and it impels him through the chest and he's like, you should have aimed at my head or, or something like that. And he snaps his finger and just random people start dying. That moment right there and the way that the movie ends with Thanos smiling, that movie, that part just, just got to me. And I was just like, what the... I like I want the second part to be here right now so bad like you have no idea like the whole build up to that watching Vision die twice was just like overkill but it was like in just insane but Thanos just snaps his finger and it's all over for them that that scene showed me that he finally got what he wanted and now we have to wait a year to wait and see what happens oh my god and now moving on to my number one and you know you would think that the entire sequence that i just talked about in number two would be my number one but actually number one is star lord's plan or like the entire team up where it was star lord dr strange iron man spider-man drax and like the mantis chick but that sequence where they're trying to take away the gauntlet from his arm was epic like i mean the way that they teamed up against thanos the entire time was just so much fun to watch and so entertaining like like the action like the way that iron man's suit like just morphs into like so many different things the fact that spider-man gets some good action sequences in there that entire scene just blew me away it was non-stop action and it ends with iron man almost dying he gets impaled by thanos and i mean i i think i heard everybody gasp in the movie theater and i was just like oh my god this is it iron man's gonna die but obviously he doesn't but that scene where they all teamed up to try to take away the gauntlet from him was truly epic and and i thought that you they almost had it but star lord swear to god why'd you do that all right guys but that is my top five and then obviously my quick review on the infinity war movie make sure to leave your favorite moments from the movie itself down in the comments below and tell me why and like i said i do recommend this so make sure to check out the film if you haven't i'm probably gonna go watch it again I'm not sure when probably not this weekend but the next i just don't have a time but if you guys are new please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have a twitter make sure to follow me on there at fmo 1126 share this video and give it a big thumbs up but as always guys stay tuned